what's going on everybody Christopher here back with yet another video thank you for watching this content the only thing that I ask and appreciate is that you like the videos so I'm back yes with another reaction video and this one was suggested to me by someone who follows some of the reaction channels and it kind of seems like the videos that they suggest to those reaction channels they're kind of bringing over to me to react to as well so I don't mind reacting to specific ones this one is called what do Americans think of socialized medicine? And I think the person told me that it was based off comparisons to the UK. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm probably off a bit, but Germany's socialized medicine is similar to the UK's anyway. So I kind of wanted to see what they thought and I can kind of gauge the difference in what some Americans think, at least the ones in this video, interviewed in this video of socialized medicine compared to kind of what the US uses currently, which many would consider kind of a fail. Any event you didn't see it, I did do a video on American and Germans way of doing uh, socialized medicine and healthcare. And you can check that video out at the end of this one. It'll be on the end screen, but let's get into this one and see what this is about. This is what do Americans think of socialized medicine? And here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Took our cameras around New York City asking how the U.S. measures up to the U.K. Okay. Socialized I do not like the idea of that. I don't want the government picking what I can and cannot do. Well, my husband's from Europe, so I think it's pretty good, actually. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people are covered by it. Everybody's covered. They don't have to worry about paying for it. It's definitely more right. accessible. She kind of gets it. Everybody allows all of us to remain healthy and to live long lives as much as we can. I think it's she kind of gets it. That the government provides health care for its citizens. If everybody has something, she kind of gets it. Who's going to pay for it? Okay, what if people pay for it by taxes? What do you think of that? Well, that's going to increase. Do you like to pay taxes? Uh, well, come in, I mean, come on. I, I've had this discussion with people that I know, and that seems to be the number one thing that people start to complain about, uh, Americans complain about, when it comes to uh, a system such as this, is paying higher taxes. So would you rather be paying out the ass for like private insurance, which is expensive as shit, and most people can't afford it, which is why they don't have it, or would you rather it just be something that's there? even if you have to pay through taxes. Also, I don't wanna go off on a tangent, but why does everybody feel so individualized? Why is everybody so me, me, me? Like, what's the problem with everybody paying into a system, even through taxes, and then the bulk or the majority or even everybody ends up being okay? because everybody's taken care of. Why Why every, Why does everybody have to be so so separate and individualized? I don't get that, but let's keep on going. The UK has government provided universal health care, okay? Which is paid for through a tax based on an on a tax based on an individual's income. The national average payment is about 250 to 300 so bucks all, a month. First of all, let me ask you, do you know what the NHS is? No. They regulate and provide national health services for the UK. What do you think the average copay is under, under the NHS? I can't imagine it goes any lower than 30. The amount for for me uh, is like $120 to see my uh, family physician. And what, so based on that, what would you guess would be the price there? Similar? Probably, I would say probably higher. higher. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, there isn't a copay, so it's $0. I really want to know what the response is. Like she said it was probably higher. Like, how does she figure that? I don't even think she thought about it before she said it. She just wants to make sure she stands on her ledge. You know what I mean? And she justifies feeling the way she feels. That That's from, from what I can see. I really want to know what the response and reaction was when they told her it's zero. I want to know the direct reaction to hearing that. If you got health care, if you're not a citizen, do you think, in, under the NHS? Um, isn't there certain protections, but not all of them? Uh, you actually do get health care if you're not a citizen. What about if you're homeless? Yes, correct. What about specialized tests, <laughs> like, or specialized care, like an inhaler or an EpiPen? In the UK, for inhaler or prescriptions, um, and I'm just guessing, at the most, $20? I'm guessing UK doesn't pay anything, which really sucks because we pay a lot. Um, who, it sucks for who, though? It really sucks for you because you pay a lot. Either way. Would say it's probably higher. Why do they say it's higher, but why do they always say probably? It's like either you think it's higher or you don't. <laughs> There's no probably. Why are you saying probably? Considering what it costs here, I'm gonna ballpark that at also another twenty five ish. Okay, it's it's actually nine pounds. Just nine. Um okay. for any Just nine. Oh. Which is about twelve dollars. Okay. 
Mind is blown. So they are cheaper. What do you, what do you think of that? What do you think? Um, I am still for individual in, um, medical care. I don't get it. Why? Why? If people are showing you ways that doing something else could be better and beneficial, why do you stick to it? Why do you stand so firm on something when you can see clearly and people are showing you that there's something that could potentially be better? It's like they don't even want to open their minds to the possibility. In the U.S., an EpiPen can roughly cost $600 to $650 for a pack of two. My God. The best-selling inhalers cost an average of 250 to 350 bucks. The best-selling selling inhalers? Are, are there different varieties of those? I've, I don't have any experience in them, but wow, that's crazy. And the average cost of delivering a baby in the hospital is about 10 grand. Sheesh. Both my daughters came into this world while I was under the military's care, so I didn't really see a change or difference in anything. So I didn't see numbers like that or any of that. So I don't have the experience in being hit hard with hardcore hospital bills like this you know fortunately nothing major has happened to me either knock on wood well let's keep going so have you ever avoided seeking health care or treatment or medication or any sort of health service because of the cost and you're worried about having to pay some sort of fee yes i have experienced that a lot with patients that come in with pneumonia but have been at home for a matter of five days and came wow. in and it got worse and had to be admitted to the hospital. And we're like, why didn't you come in sooner? Well, I couldn't afford this bill, so I was trying to take care of myself at home first. Guys, that is awful. If you don't live in the U.S. and you're looking at this, you got to be thinking to yourself, my goodness, what kind of way of living is that? Like, how is that any way to live? But it exists. It's a thing. And it's crazy that so many people are still suffering and hurting. And equally crazy that a lot of people still don't want to change their mind about the idea or the possibility of trying something different for the people's sake. All right, let's keep going. Health insurance plan won't go get let's say, like contraception or things like that because we don't really want to pay for it out of pocket. I found out later that I had sprained my ACL. I couldn't move, but I also didn't want to call an ambulance. So oh, wow. Move. And this seems like a pretty, pretty bright guy. Even he was avoiding having to be billed something and he sprained his ACL. So what'd you do? Um, I got on my friend's back. But my sister, she has like a lot of allergies. So like wow. instead of like using the ambulance for her like anaphylactic allergies, we have to drive her, which is very scary because you know, you don't know about like traffic or anything. You don't have the same privileges as an ambulance on the road. Have you ever um, mm. not sought treatment because you're afraid of a cost? No, ma'am. Do you know anyone who has? No, ma'am. What about people who are afraid of the cost of say an ambulance? Okay, that happens all the time because we have so many Americans that don't want to go in debt and they're trying to save money and they think they can go buy a car instead of an ambulance. Uh, so what would you think if that service was free? If that service was free, um, anything that's free, sometimes it's not worth having. Are you kidding me? What is she saying right now? This lady looks like she comes from a life of privilege and she just doesn't know struggle, doesn't know pain, doesn't know hurt. She doesn't know oppression. And she's just answering from her experience only. People like this that are stuck in this mindset, they don't realize that everybody doesn't have the resources that they do. She's answering according to what she would do, how she would handle this from her perspective. This is what you would do, lady. You don't understand. Not everybody is in your position. That's not even a close reply to solving any problem at all. She's just throwing stuff out there so that she doesn't look bad, so that she doesn't look like she doesn't know what she's talking about, so that she's not wrong. Of doctors in the U.S. report problems with getting patients and meds, that's 54% or treatments because of coverage restrictions. Only 15% of doctors in the UK reported having these problems. Jesus Christ, man. 77% of people in Britain support the NHS and are happy with it. Would you say that you are happy with the United States healthcare system? No. Of course yeah. not. <laughs> no, and I'm actually pretty lucky because I work for the university, so my insurance is pretty good. And even then, I'm not happy with it. <laughs> Wow. That's a loaded question. Um, it's I not really. Insurance and it's good insurance through my husband's company, but we, we pay through the nose for it. 
Uh, if it were free, I would love that. And if we only paid three fifty a month, that would be a huge deal. Let me tell you the highest insurance I paid for a four-person family at the time and not serving in the military or not having a job with suitable coverage. At the highest, I won't say what company it is, but at the highest I ever paid for insurance and living in Germany but not under the German system. I forgot to mention that. The highest I paid was 480 euros. That's for a four-person family at the time, full coverage, and not using Germany's universal health care. That kicked my ass for a long time. It's f***ing bananas. That our government should be responsible for providing all of us health care. I think the individuals need to be responsible. They need to have a job. They need to look for jobs that provide benefits. There's so many people. You see? People like that are just speaking from their perspective. You know what I mean? They think it's just one, two, three. It's easy. You just go out there and you just do these things. All you have to do is that. All you have to do is this. You just simply do this. You just simply do that. She's probably always had everything handed to her. Things probably always came to her. Probably always had a man to take care of things. Now that she's older, she's definitely probably established enough where she doesn't have to worry. I don't know. Maybe she hasn't had everything handed to her. And maybe she did have to fight, struggle, kick and scream when she was young to get to where she is right now but even then I believe that there's a little bit of scarring that makes her speak the way she speaks or people like her speak the way they speak I don't want to hold anything against anybody but it's that little bit of jadedness I had to fight so hard to get where I'm at everybody else should too that makes them say the things that they say especially people from sort of like lower socioeconomic backgrounds who can't get the, the health care that they need because they just can't afford it the premiums yeah. are still pretty high they're not unreasonable but it's still pretty high. Um, the medicine I have to pay for is not covered that much. And it's not even anything crazy. It's literally allergy medicine. So he's speaking from being actually covered by his job. It's still bad. And I still have to pay a fair amount every month for just allergies. People are more than numbers. And they're more than, you know, the change that you make from, <laughs> yeah, stiffing people out of their health care. Little mama likes to talk, I can tell. <laughs> All right, that's the end of that. Guys, I can go on a tangent talking about things like this. I choose not to because these videos will be too long and not everybody wants to hear me ranting. You can come into the live stream shows to hear me rant. But videos like this say so much. And for people who don't live in the U.S., it's got to be like the biggest shock ever to know that there are people who actually believe the things they believe and think the way they think and see things the way they see them. And for those things to be so distant from being about the betterment of people and just taking care of humans, taking care of people, it's got to be just the biggest shock to people who don't live in the U.S. Like I said, this video was suggested from some somebody from the other channels and I think people just want to hear what I have to say so that's what I have to say let me know what you guys have to say down in the comments and I'll talk to y'all in the next video